Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we are judging week number five of the Coffee Cocktail Challenge brought to you by myself and the team at Mr. Black. I'm pretty excited. I, I think I say this most weeks, but I'm pretty excited to try these cocktails because that we have quite an array. First one I've got is a slow gin cocktail, uh, or slow gin and coffee cocktail. Then we've got a um, mezcal with gooseberry syrup. And third of all, we've got a whiskey and maple. So wicked combinations there and a bit of variation. So this video is gonna keep you guys interested, I hope. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna start with the start of something beautiful by Peter Patrician from Patrician Bitters. I'll leave a link to his website or Instagram. Um, I'll have a look in the description below but he had a whopping 1,318 votes. Obviously he's already uh, got a few people on his Patrician Bitters Instagram cocktail focused people. So he got some votes through them. But he says, earthy, dark and bitter, inspired by a prog rock song of the same name. This late night sipper, while apparently simple, balances beautifully the intense plummy bittersweet fruit with smooth, rich coffee, dry artichoke and a touch of nutty maraschino. Uh, fresh citrus adds brightness and elevates the aromatic experience. So I don't even know if I've done a slow gin cocktail on the channel before. I've been meaning to pick up a bottle for ages. But for those who have been asking me, I've got Plymouth slow gin, so there's gonna be some more slow gin cocktails to come. Uh, first of all, this is a stirred cocktail. So 60 ml, two ounces of some slow gin. So slow berries macer macerated in a gin. Uh, I haven't actually tried the Plymouth one before, but this sits at 26%. Then we're following that with Mr. Black. It's made with fresh coffee, so you, sometimes you get a little bit of sediment. That's just flavor. And we've got one ounce, 30 ml of Mr. Black coffee liqueur. Straight in. And China, bit of artichoke liqueur. Thank you, Chris. Uh, 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce, and then a bar spoon of Matasquino liqueur. Easy. Fill that mixing glass with ice. And he says, stir to chill for 15 seconds. Now that is a short stir, but given the fact that uh, all these are relatively low ABV, you don't want to add additional dilution, otherwise you'll dilute that flavor. Straight into a chilled coop. Beautiful photo on this submission, by the way. So make sure you check out the link in the description to have a look at the original. And garnish with a couple of cherries. Specifically said two cherries. I always like to garnish in threes. I don't know why, I always do. Oh, and of course, Express lemon and orange peel and discard the peel. Oh. oh, that citrus smells wicked. So there you have the start of something beautiful by Peter Patrician from Patrician Bitters. It's a bit of a mouthful. Cheers. That's not going to work. Ooh, that's really bright. Um, the the slow gin is the one that gives that sort of, that bright fruitiness, and then you get that, that deep characteristic from the, the coffee and the china coming through. Ooh, that's enjoyable. On to coffee, cocktail number two. 
Next up is the If You Know You Know, which was created by Stacey Wallace and it finished on 660 votes. Tons of votes on the Coffee Cocktails website this week. There was heaps of traffic. Uh, she describes this one by saying, if you're in love with falernum syrup that has a robust coffee kick, you're going to love this. It's a deliciously drinkable tiki cocktail with character and joy. With falernum syrup being a staple of many tiki cocktails, this cocktail recreates its spicy, zesty, and tart combinations with the toffee and baking spices from the rum, the citrus notes from the lime juice, and the fruity sweetness of the gooseberry syrup. Uh, when you add the smoky earthiness of the mezcal, it blends together to enhance the bold coffee flavor of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. Uh, since Australia, Mexico, and Jamaica are home to multiple species of parrots and are the origins of the spirits used, the parrot tiki mug was only fitting as a tribute. I couldn't get a hold of a parrot tiki mug at the last minute. Um, you'll have to check out the link in the description to see the original photo. It's a bright blue uh, tiki mug that looks awesome, that works really well with this cocktail. But unfortunately I don't have it, so uh, I'm just gonna get ahead and make the drink straight away. Uh, this one calls for 30 mil, one ounce of Mr. Black coffee liqueur. It's a shaking cocktail and then served over crushed ice. Then we've got Kiki Riki uh, Mezcal. So 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. If you've tried this Mezcal before, let me know your thoughts below. Then we have a gooseberry syrup, which is 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. This actually is a substitution, so it's not actually a gooseberry syrup, it's a cranberry syrup. Um, I think a lot of people forget that sometimes certain fruits or liqueurs or spirits aren't available in all countries. So you gotta keep that in mind when you're entering a cocktail competition, otherwise substitutions will occur. Um, as far as I read, I haven't tried gooseberries before, but as far as I read, uh, cranberries are one of the decent substitutions to be able to use. And then we've got some fresh lime juice, 22.5 mil. Oh. Three quarter ounce. And then I'm gonna save my spent lime so I can add it as a garnish afterwards. And before you add your ice, you definitely want to add one dash of Australian Bitters Co. Smoked Bitters. It's a brand new bottle, so the dashing wasn't working too well. Three quarter fill your shake with ice. Shake for five seconds as requested by Stacy, so it doesn't over dilute, because it's going to be served over crushed ice. So half or three quarter fill your glass with crushed ice. You can always top it afterwards after you add your drink in. As you can imagine, this is, presentation wise, this looks very different to the original because I don't have a bright blue parrot mug. So top it with crushed ice. Then, I want to add a quarter ounce of Jamaican Overproof Smith & Cross Overproof Rum. Before I add that in, I will add the, add the rest of the garnish, which is a big mint sprig. and some gooseberries, these dried cranberries. <laughs> My lime cup isn't big enough. Yes, it is. And then simply flame your, oh no, ground cinnamon. Do you have ground cinnamon? The instructions also came with a friendly warning saying, please be extremely cautious. Four. 
That's, <laughs> that was a little bit extreme. I didn't actually expect that. There's no low setting on this. This is, is that lit? Can't even tell. It's definitely lit. Yeah. Cool. And then, a dusting of cinnamon. I haven't actually flamed any cocktails on the channel before. If you guys want to see me flame some cocktails and burn myself and melt my mat, then let me know in the comments below. It's so, it's really bright with the studio light, so I can't even tell if it's lit. It's definitely out now. I'll try some before I pour the, the rum into it. Super fun uh, tiki style cocktail, just with that added smoky complexity. Um, from what I've read with the reviews of this particular mezcal, it's not heavy on the smoke, but I think it, it still plays quite well in this style uh, tiki drink. Looks like I'm struggling here, doesn't it? Mix that rum in a little bit. And then that, that Smith & Cross rum just adds this tiny little bit of funkiness, a um, bit of overripe banana, and a bit more booze as well. Only that, that little bit, just what it needs. On to cocktail number three. On to cocktail number three, the Mr. Lumberjack that finished off with 437 votes. And as far as I'm aware, it's the first uh, cocktail submission by a partnership. So we've got Sarah Grace and David Hughes. This was their submission. And they've said, do you need a new favorite cocktail to sip on this winter? Uh, look no further than this caffeinated take on an old fashioned, matured with smoke and maple syrup for a lumberjack inspired twist. Kick off your boots, throw on a flannel and sip on this warming drink to soothe your brawny soul. Okay, so two flamed cocktail, flames, sort of flamed cocktails in one video. Yeah, I used fire, fire twice, it's amazing. Now you saw the extreme uh, jet that you get from this particular, I need a creme brulee gun. I got it from a hardware store. Um, there was, it, it's really hard. It's around Christmas, lots of stores are closed, so I couldn't get a small creme brulee gun. Instead, I've got this, which is basically used to, to light coals. Uh, hence why it's got such a massive flame, uh, which is potentially going to make it a little bit difficult because the um, smoke chips that I have, the smoking chips, the wood chips, they're wood shavings as opposed to wood chips. So therefore, I think this is gonna just completely blow the shavings off the table, but we'll, we'll soon find out. I had a choice of three different type types of uh, shavings. So I'm using um, Jarrah, which I think will work really well, which has a dense and earthy smoke with a strong flavor. And it's got a beautiful fragrance to it actually. So we're gonna simply move that to the side. Flame the chips. Hopefully they stay on the... Yes, Kat. Clearly use a uh, hard surface, like a piece of slate or something that you don't mind flaming. Don't put it on a rubber mat. Don't put it on the kitchen bench top. That's just crazy. So, yes, it's really wants to blow these shavings away. Not much smoke there, is there?
As you can see, I don't make a lot of smoke cocktails. I'm gonna have to practice my smoking techniques. I think um, just because I've got this giant lighter and the shavings, it makes it a little bit hard. If you have bigger wood chips, then it'll be easier to turn into little coals on their little embers and they'll they'll smoke a lot more. But onto the onto the cocktail. So there's a stirred drink and it calls for a small batch bourbon whiskey. I've grabbed a bottle of uh, Jefferson's, which calls for two ounces. Sorry, I know I switch between ounces and mils and do them in the back to front order all the time. So 60 mil, two ounces of small batch bourbon, followed by Mr. Black and yes, cat. And you can always follow the recipe up here. Simonis puts it up there, so makes it a lot easier. Uh, 30 mil, one ounce of Mr. Black cold brew. Coffee liqueur. I am get, I'm still getting these really nice wafts of smoke. Um, it's got a nice perfume to it, this Jarrah one. Uh, we've got half an ounce, 15 mil of maple syrup, a dash of, two dashes of aromatic bitters, then one dash of chocolate bitters. This is a chocolate bitters. So it's a cacao with other spices as well. And we want to add plenty of ice. And stir for 30, 40 seconds. Cat, do you have some chocolate? Do you have some chocolate? Never mind then. And then we're going to strain this over a large rock. It's not a huge amount of smoke. I would have liked a little bit more, but it still works. And this also is not the, the clearest ice cube I've ever made. That's for sure. So strain it over the top of that cube. Oh, I like the look of this. Despite my poor ice efforts, Still really like the look of this one. Then we're going to garnish with a twist of orange. So they have a Mr. Lumberjack. Cheers. Mm. Smoky. Two smoky cocktails back to back. quite like this. This is just the right amount of smoke. Um, as I was saying before, I would have preferred a little bit more embers, more smoke in the glass. Big grand reveal. It's a little bit hard with all the studio lights, uh, but it works well. The right amount of smoke, um, perhaps a touch too much maple. It is a little bit of a sweeter style, old fashioned, but I'm a sweet tooth, so I don't mind that. On to the judging. Okay, so a little bit of feedback on the cocktails that I have tried today. First, starting with the Start of Something Beautiful by Peter Patrician. Uh, as far as creativity goes and originality, it was a good combination of uh, slow gin, coffee, china, maraschino. So it was definitely original. Um, one thing I, I thought it was a little bit uh, too heavy on the slow gin. It was very fruit and fruity and vibrant, but I think it kind of overshadowed some of the other ingredients, but a great cocktail nevertheless. Onto the If You Know You Know by Stacey Wallace. Um, 100% definitely uh, very creative and original. Um, you had you had a flamed cocktail and it was also a non-traditional tiki style where you had the addition of mezcal, so you added some smoke. Um, I really liked the cinnamon. That played really well with that, that smokiness of the mezcal and the coffee. And then the third one, the Mr. Lumberjack by Sarah and David. A wicked combination. You can't go wrong with whiskey, coffee, and uh, maple syrup. The, the combination of those flavors just works really, really well together. So as far as taste goes, this one was was the jackpot. Um, 
but as a combination with all the judging with the the taste the presentation the originality the creativity um like much deliberation my wife and i were trying to decide that we had neck and neck with the with the points so therefore we deliberated for a while on top of the original points judging to see if we could pick out a winner out of these two here but we couldn't we, we both like them for their own reasoning. This really highlighted the, the coffee flavors um, and the Mr. Black itself. This was super creative, um, really delicious combination of flavors with the cinnamon and the rum, but I couldn't pick a winner. So hopefully uh, I will have a chat to Mr. Black and say we have another winner. Um, so you'll both get Merc packs. Sorry, Mr. Black, I hope that's okay. Uh, and then you'll also be sent uh, an Amazon gift card each. Um, so congratulations to you both. And thanks to all the entrants from the week five Coffee Cocktail Challenge. Make sure you jump on coffeecocktails.com.au and vote into your cocktail. There's only a couple of weeks left, so make sure you get your entry in. I know there's a lot of people that have been refining their recipe, but time is running out. So thanks for watching guys and look forward to seeing you for the next cocktail video. Cheers.